Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, it's your boy Mega Crash, and I welcome you guys back to a brand new video, and ladies and gentlemen, I am particularly excited to present you guys with this video right here. So what it is that we got going on here is we have ourselves a discussion slash announcement sort of video where we have ourselves two brand new other metagame of the month, or OM of the month for short, and this right here, ladies and gentlemen, this right here is one of my favorite times because this right here, okay, for OM of the months, they come up with some of the most craziest, badass, and most creative metagames that there is. Like, I'm, I'm having trouble just explaining and describing just how crazy some of these metagames are, you know? Like, over the course of how long they've been doing OM of the month concepts, man, it's just been absolutely wild, you know? But what we have here, guys, is we have ourselves two brand new OM of the months for March. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, for one of them especially in particular, it requires a lot of thinking, you know? You gotta be really skilled when it comes to team building and how your team can seriously work together. But without further ado, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe. And also, ladies and gentlemen, do let me know if there's any way, shape, and form that I can improve upon my content. You know, I want to hear from you guys. Like, if there is some way Way that I can improve please let me know I'm always always open for constructive criticism so if you guys do enjoy my videos then that's bang on man that is absolutely awesome I'm doing my job but if there's something that you guys don't enjoy about my videos then please let me know so I can do the best I can to make sure that the next time around you do enjoy my videos you know what I'm saying so without further ado guys let's get started Woo! all right ladies and gentlemen so the first tier to talk about is chimera 1v1 now this right here okay this is the tier that I'm talking about where you need to team build very very well because this takes teamwork to a whole new meaning because instead of you having six versus six it's one versus one you guys are probably saying well wait a second mega you know team building and all that stuff you know is all well and good in six v six and even three versus three but why one beast one versus one see i'm tongue tying myself already damn it but anyways ladies and gentlemen what it is we got going on here in chimera one versus one is that you have a team of six pokemon and you end up taking traits, okay? You take the traits that you feel is going to be best for the end result, and you end up fusing these traits together to create a Pokemon, hence a Chimera, because a Chimera is a creature that has a whole bunch of crazy traits to it, okay? It looks like a genetic freak, you know? Now, picture this, okay? Picture this. If you're fans of Gordon Ramsay, picture this as you putting together the best dish that you can put together and you compete head to head, chef to chef, when it comes to these 1v1 battles, you know? They put their best dish out, you put your best dish out. Whichever dish outperforms is the winner, okay? It's, I, I, I feel like I'm, I'm describing what Hell's Kitchen is, you know? Been watching too much of that as of late, you know? But anyways, what it is we got going here, we can actually scroll down here a little bit. It's actually broken down into six categories, okay? And before we go over the categories, I also want to preface this that, you know, this right here, okay, uh, when it comes to the order of your team is going to be completely dependent on what traits you want that end result sort of Pokemon to have. So, for example, in the first category, we have the type. Second category, we have the item. Third category, we have the ability. Fourth category, we have the stats. So that's like the EVs, the IVs, and the nature. And category number five is going to be moves number one and two, whereas the last category is going to be moves three and four. So ladies and gentlemen, before we move on to the next OM of the month, I kind of just want to showcase a, a team example of this tier. Now, let's see here. Okay, so we have ourselves Gale Wings Flying Spam by Anaconda. Now, this right here, I absolutely love what this individual did with their team. We have nothing but flying types, right? Now, with that being said, you know, we have ourselves Ho-Oh, that is going to be taking up uh, category number one, that's going to be the type, and then we have Eveltol with the Flyanium Z, that's going to take up category number two, being the Flyanium Z, and then we got Gale Wings Talonflame, now see this right here, okay, 
this is where your dish starts to come together, okay? This is where the protein comes in, okay? You have gale wings, okay? You have to take the most important aspect out of the entire team and build around that, right? So in this case here, we have gale wings being the crooks here of this team. This right here is what this whole team is based on, is gale wings. So we then move on to Lander Steering with the choice specs here. Now, this right here, okay, we have ourselves the EVs, that being, you know, max H or max attack, max speed. We got Jolly Nature, so that's gonna translate into the uh, into the end result here, you know, the Chimera. And then we have ourselves Rayquaza with V Create and Dragon Ascent. Now keep in mind, Dragon Ascent, okay, is a flying type move. And having that Gale Wings boosted, baby, I'm just I think you guys know what I'm driving at here, right? So, this right here just kind of gives you guys, you know, an idea of what this, a sort of team like this in Chimera would look like. The, yeah, sure, the moves look kind of weird and funky and all that stuff, because normally in regular standard play, you wouldn't see a mixture of moves quite like this. But, you know what, though? <laughs> when it comes to OM of the Months, you pretty much take everything that you know in regular standard play you chuck that out the window because this right here is where creativeness comes into play. And look at this. We even have uh, different things that, you know, you can use. You can create different uh, sort of chimeras based on the order of the of the team right here. So we got Z-Wings and we got H-Y-T-L-R-M. So that, uh, that uh, those letters are representations of the... Uh, first letter of each Pokemon, and we have ourselves Z uh, Wings 2, we got Calm Wings, Multi Scale, Multi Specs, Multi Z, the list goes on. So, I mean, there's a lot of possibilities here just from building one single team, but you gotta like really go out of the box when it comes to creativity in order for you to have uh, something that is going to be up to snuff in the Chimera 1 vs 1 metagame. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are kind of getting my drift. I hope you guys are understanding what I'm saying. I'll leave a link of this in the description box down below so that way you guys can have a look at it at your own leisure, as I will be doing the same thing for the other thing we'll be discussing too. Speaking of which, let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the second O of the month, baby? Woo! It is none other than Mega Mons. Now, this here, right here, man. Oh, buddy. I have a feeling that we're going to be seeing a ton of carnage, a ton of rage, a ton of hair pulling, because this, this would not be allowed in regular competitive play. But, see, here's the thing, is that OM of the Month coming inside would give two shiznickles about that. <laughs> but what we have here is we have ourselves a Mega Pinsir wearing a Choice Band and a Mega Slowbro consuming leftovers. I think you guys know where I'm getting at here. I mean, before we even get into the description here of this tier, I think you guys can tell what is going to be taking place here with such a subtle hint from this drawing right here. Basically, you don't need to worry about Mega Stones, man. You take Pokemon that have Mega Forms, that they start in their Mega Forms, and this allows for you to actually give them proper held items. So say, for example, you know, you want to have a choice banded uh, Mega Pinsir, there you go. It's like you got your choice banded Mega Pinsir. If you want to have your Mega Slowbro holding leftovers, well, guess what? Now you got a Mega Slowbro holding a leftovers. I mean, that is pretty self-explanatory. We're going to go a little bit deeper here into this article. All right, so let's go ahead and let's scroll down here and let's see what it is that we got going on. It says, Welcome to Mega Mons. Mega Mons is an uber gate based metagame where Mega Evolutions can be used without Mega Stones. Bada boom! Gonna be one of the craziest tiers in the room. How you doing? That was an Enzo Amore WWE reference. I don't know why I just did that. Nerd is what I am right now, man. And with any item that you like, yeah, see, like, that that's what I'm talking about. If you want to slap a choice band on a Mega Pinsir, you can do that, man. Can you imagine aerial aid boosted, choice band boosted, quick attacks, you know? Like, that would be one of the ultimate revenge killers, you know? 
and Mega Slowbro is already more than annoying enough with the fact that it can't even be critted thanks to its ability Shell Armor, and given the fact that it's got a gargantuan base 180 defense, man, ah! Can you imagine the fact that this Pokemon don't even need its Mega Stone, and that it can have an item to use to make it even more of a stally, tanky kind of Pokemon that there is, and probably want to make someone rip their hair out even more? Well, there you go. Now now you can go wild with a bunch of stallish Pokemon and all that stuff, you know? You can go wild with a bunch of offensive-ish Pokemon if you want to here, you know? This is an Ubers-based metagame, so pretty much anything is allowed. Well, with the exception, of course, of Mega Rayquaza. Also, there are bands as well. Mega Blaziken, Mega Gengar, and Mega Mewtwo Y. Now, I also want to preface this point that you can use these Pokemon, but you can't use them in the way that Mega Mons would allow you to use other Mega Pokemon. They can still be used, don't get me wrong on that, don't get that twisted, but they need to have their Mega Stones, because I guess, uh, for whatever strange reason, I guess, uh, I guess these Pokemon were just uh, way too good by uh, them allowing to be Mega and also being able to hold an item. So, yeah. Just be sure to keep that in mind. Now, with that being said, does this also apply to Primal Reversions? Well, the thing is also with Primal Reversions, considering the fact that they're not Mega Forms, you technically have to give them their respective orbs in order for them to transform into their Primal Forms. And what about Ultra Necrozma, you guys are probably asking? Well, Ultra Necrozma, you know, requires for it to go through its Z-Burst, okay? It needs its Z-Crystal in order for it to go through its ultimate form. In order for it to just transcend the awesomeness that it is and just go into a godly form, Ultra Necrozma, you need its, its Ultra Z-Crystal. Now, with that being said, I hope, hopefully you guys are understanding what this tier is about. Basically, to sum it up here, you are allowed to have Mega Form Pokemon without them holding Mega Stones. You can allow for them to hold items. So, that means that these Mega Pokemon are going to be treated as regular Pokemon, but except they're really not regular Pokemon, because they're Mega Awesome, man. This tier is Mega Awesome, but thing is also is that you do have to understand that there are some Pokemon, there are some rules to, the, the exception to the rules, I should say, getting tongue-tied again, holy hell, I'm getting too hyped, that's a sign that I'm getting way too hyped because I'm tongue-tying myself, see here's the thing, is that there are always exceptions to the rules, and in this case here, you know, you can't use Mega Blaziken, Mega Gengar, Mega Mewtwo Y without their Mega Stones, you also can't use Primal Reversions without their respective orbs. And also, you can't use Mega Blaziken, considering that that thing is banned from Ubers. Uh, you know, that that's the Pokemon that broke the Ubers metagame, and Smogon had to create its own tier, anything goes. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to use Ultra Necrozma, you need to pack that Z-Crystal of goodness. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so with that being said, that is going to be a wrap here for this video, and if you guys enjoyed the video, then make sure you smash the like button and subscribe, that way I know you guys are enjoying the videos and you're digging it and all that stuff, and once again, you know, I just gotta say thank you guys so very much for sticking with this crazy dude for as long as you have, man, thank you for giving me a chance. You know, I absolutely love doing what I do. I love entertaining. I love inspiring. And if you guys are entertained and inspired by what I do, then hey, man, that's all that I could ever want in life. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next upload.